what up everyone we got a code purple level emergency right now starlink is out with some new data on x uh, they just put out a progress report saying Starlink is connecting more than 2.3 million people in over 70 countries. Uh, this means they have 2.3 million customers for those SpaceX investors out there, for the Starlink nerds. This means we can calculate how much revenue Starlink is making, how much the company's worth, how close we are to funding Mars. Um, to, in general, because this is how SpaceX plans to get us to Mars and actually pay for it, is with this crazy Starlink project to bring internet around the world. So now that we know uh, 2.3 million people are using it, we can do an estimate. They have so many different plans uh, for Starlink, starting at 120 bucks a month for standard households that used to be 99 bucks a month. Plus, you got to pay like 500 uh, something bucks just to get the hardware installed. There you go. Check out the hardware like this pretty cool satellite device, up to $2,500 for the high performance hardware, 500 bucks a month. Um, then they have all these other cool, uh, crazy different use cases for Starlink that have been happening. Starlink for boats. They've also been putting it on planes, which seems to be a very potential lucrative use case. What is Starlink average revenue per 2.3 million customers? Um, I would say 100 bucks a month times 2.3 million times 12 bucks a month. We're looking at 2.8 billion, almost 3 billion in revenue. If you include the hardware revenue, then Starlink is definitely above a $3 billion revenue run rate right now. Um, in my estimates, Starlink has a big and broader mission than that it's to connect everyone in the world with high-speed internet in places that are really hard to get to um, this is going to bridge the digital gap of you know people not having access to great education well if you have AI on the internet then any kid anywhere in the world uh, has the same opportunities to try and learn and access this crazy pool of knowledge so access on the internet not only that but it can save lives in remote remote locations I personally am a little nerding out about the fact that all of the proceeds from Starlink literally go to funding Mars and colonizing a new planet for humans which is insanely epic so the bottom line is starlink with three billion dollars in revenue run rate right now i would say could be valued at about 50 to 100 billion dollars and you might be like oh that's crazy you know uh 10 times price sales is already a lot so three would be 30 billion but that three billion number is growing like crazy i found this leak from forbes not sure how accurate it is but it's forbes saying that the wall street journal said that starlink did 20 222 million in 2021 revenue and then that went up to 1.4 billion so 200 million to 1.4 billion now they're already at 3 billion so i would say their revenue is probably going to hit around three three and a half billion for the full year of um, 2023. Next year, it might scale to 7 billion, 8 billion. Um, and you know, I don't know. So 10 times sales of 7 to 8 billion feels right to me. I also have these funny projections that I made um, about two years ago, actually a little over two years ago at this point, and they're still kind of on point. Um, I would take down this 4 billion number though. If we adjust these a little bit. So I quickly adjusted these numbers. Even if we assume that growth uh, is less than 100%, goes to 4 million users by the end of 2024, we'd be looking at almost 5 billion in ARR. And then if we go to 2025 with 7 million users, also under that 100% growth rate, um, which seems very doable, 7 million people using Starlink uh, in the next two years, that will get us to an $8.3 billion revenue run rate. That's recurring revenue. Once you uh, sell the hardware for pretty much break even up front, you launch all the satellite, all that recurring revenue could get extremely high margin um, in the long run. Like that 8 billion in revenue could be pumping out a few billion in cash flow, and that's already all the fixed costs. So by the time we get to 20, 25 billion um, in earnings from Starlink, uh, the fixed costs are still 5 billion, 10 billion, and you're printing 10, 15, 20 billion in cash. So I think Starlink uh, easily has the potential to be worth hundreds of billions of dollars, if not half a trillion, if not in a moonshot scenario, a trillion dollars as the backbone of connectivity for Earth, for Mars. Obviously, there's still going to be uh, landlines and all this other stuff, but the satellite internet is a huge and extremely valuable piece of the connectivity pie. SpaceX owns it, and it means the chances of us going to Mars are increasing. So anyway, huge news from Starlink, 2.3 million people connecting uh, because of these reusable rockets. And let me know what you think in the comments below. This has been a Code Purple last minute late night hyperchange update. Hope y'all enjoyed it. Peace.